Sponsored by Audible. Go to audible.com slash cow to get your free audiobook today. I hear people all the time demanding free stuff. It's very trendy right now. We are the 99%, okay? We have rights. I cannot believe that it. it is 2016. And we as a society haven't figured out how to provide this service for free. You know, there's this other country that I heard about that gives this stuff to its citizens for free. I read a headline. I mean... Yeah, I would love to not have to worry about money. I would love for everything to be free. Unfortunately, that literally makes no sense. And today we're gonna talk about why. I think the main problem is that people don't understand how money works or where it comes from. So let me give you a very exciting scenario that kind of explains it. Suppose there are no such things as dollars, okay? There's no physical currency whatsoever. No credit cards, no debit cards, literally nothing to buy things with. So let's say Josh is a farmer and he has a bunch of eggs. And let's also say that Kelly is a weaver and she makes blankets. Wow, what a nice blanket. I'll tell you what, I'll give you five dozen eggs if you give me that blanket. Yeah. Both parties came to a mutual agreement and a transaction occurred. So in this scenario, let's say that I exist in that world too. And I plant apple trees on my property. Hey, I'll give you a dozen apples if you give me a dozen eggs. Uh, no thanks. I don't really like apples, so that transaction wouldn't really benefit me. Now, I'm in a pickle because Josh is the one with the eggs, but he won't sell them to me. Luckily, I have an idea. See? Kelly loves apples. Hey, Kelly, if I give you five dozen apples, will you give me that blanket? Mm, yes, please. <laughs> hey, Josh, I have this blanket now, so can I trade you this blanket for five dozen eggs? Now we're talking. Yes. In this scenario, the blanket acted as a currency. It had value because all three parties agreed that it did. See, all transactions are just a trading of resources. So when you go to the grocery store, you're trading one resource of value, money, for another resource of value, food. It's really no different than when you were younger and you traded trading cards with your friends. Um, excuse me, I like your card way better than I like mine. Whoa, whoa, I've been looking for that card for a long time. I want that one way more than this one. What, what, what are we gonna do about it? This was mutually beneficial! This is how the economy works. It's all just mutually beneficial trading. But it's not just physical items that we trade in our society. See, when you get a job, that's a trade too. You're not just getting a paycheck for working. You're literally trading hours of your time and abilities in exchange for dollars. I'll trade you 20 hours a week of your life in exchange for this amount of money. That might sound kind of weird, but that's literally what's going on. There's a cost involved in everything that's produced. You can't just say that things are free because then a person has to take the time to make the thing that's free. If you really think about it, that's called slavery. I mean, you wouldn't want somebody to force you to make something for them for free. Products and services cost resources like time, energy, physical commodities. Things don't exist in a vacuum. Products and services are created. Just make the rich pay for it then. They have the money. You know, I've never quite understood this argument. Why are you entitled to the money of people who have more money than you? What moral argument can you make to justify greed like that? I'm just saying. If the rich spread their money around instead of hoarding it, I think every problem in the world will be solved. Okay, well, so let's take a guy like Shark Tank's Mark Cuban, my favorite shark. Mark Cuban is worth three billion dollars. More money than he will ever be able to use, I completely agree. He might use it as toilet paper. So let's take all of his money and divide it up among every person in the United States. It's only fair, right? Okay, let me, let me do the math. If we divide it all up, you watching the video right now are entitled to a grand total of $9.50. 40 cents. We're going to Starbucks, guys! Look, I know it's fashionable and popular to say, The rich people, the rich people, they're ruining everything! And maybe you have a point. You know, maybe those more privileged than the rest should be forced to pay their fair share. I mean, there are people suffering every day while the rich live in comfort. Excuse me, sir, I'm here to uh, collect your taxes. Uh, I already paid my taxes, thanks. No, your global 1% tax. You are a part of the global 1%, which means that you need to pay your fair share for the American privilege. I I'm not rich at all, sir. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, I know of a lot of African children who are starving who would love to beg to differ. Why are you so greedy with your money, huh? If you have a principle, have a principle. Don't just reach for it when it benefits you. If you believe that those with more than they need should be forced to give to those in need, well, there's no need to use force. Here's how you can help. <laughs> Guys, 
I know I just got done saying that there is nothing free in this world, but I was wrong. There is one free thing, and it's an audiobook from Audible. If you go to audible.com slash cow, you're going to get a free audiobook and a free 30-day trial. Audible has a ton of audiobooks to choose from, but this week I suggest you go and you check out Dave Ramsey's book, The Total Money Makeover. It seemed very fitting for the occasion. So if you love books, but you don't have time to read and you still want knowledge, go to audible.com slash cow, get your free audiobook, free 30-day trial. That's audible.com slash cow. See you guys.